Hey guys, what is up? I am Devil Driven. Uh, continuing our review of the cards. Um, this one was revealed right before I released the last uh, reveal video. Um, this one was revealed by Tailbot. Um, Quinn is back in the game, girl, girl Quinn. He shield deploy, play a Witcher from your deck. Adrenaline 3, so you play it at 4 cards. Give it shield, the unit that you pull. The unit that you pull, I hope, gets the shield. Because um, he already has shield. Um, cards that this would probably go good with. Um, Siri Dash, you could put a shield on it, which is pretty helpful. Um, you could pull Ard with it. And then if you wanted to, you could play that uh, Cosimo Musplina guy in between them. And possibly high roll some stuff. That's the meme route, but... Um, Yurden, another one you can pull it um, and then do the same trick um, there's other witchers you could pull the bear witcher from Skellige is a possibility um, the card seems alright it's it's 10 provisions do you want to play this over an Eromancy I don't know um, I guess it depends on if you really really want to protect that unit um so we'll have to see. Um, card, I, I love the art. Uh, next one is the one that Ocean Mud revealed. Um, Kosh J. He's four strength, three armor, ten provisions. Whenever this unit unit's thrive is triggered, spawn a drone on this row. Adrenaline four, so you play it with five cards in hand. Whenever this unit's thrive is triggered, spawn an Andrega larva on this row instead. There was a thread on reddit about this card and you know you the amount of value you can get off this card with just playing like uh five strength cards the consume ones i forget them the dog guys um it was insane i'll see if i can find a picture of it real quick and put it up here while i'm uh explaining it but uh, this card seeds pretty good um you can combo it too with uh, Karen Theer. Um, so it looks like Swarm is going to be the theme for this. I was hoping it was maybe going to be Vampires, but. And a couple other people have said that uh, this is Geralt's mom uh, in the middle of the picture. Um, she helped kill this. So, really cool art. Um, and it's, it's going to be a threat. Monsters are already bonkers, so this is just going to make, uh, you know, give them another tool in the. In the toolbox. Uh, next one was revealed by Quillen Lance. He actually drew this card. Uh, he can really draw, man. Uh, props to him. Um, Ivar Evil Eye. He's a Witcher. Four strength, ten provisions. Swap Ivar's power with an enemy unit. Adrenaline two. Damage an enemy unit by four instead. So if you hold on to this card too long, he just does the four damage um, if you play him earlier on he could swap with something big and if they don't have the answer for it it can play for a huge value um, the cards pretty nuts um, I it's I mean it's not nuts. it's fair it's a fair card um, will it see play I don't. It is Nilfgaard, right? I don't know if it's just me, but I have like a hard time seeing the colors between Nilfgaard and Scoia'tael. I know I do it all the time with you guys. You're like, that's a Scoia'tael card. And I'm like, uh, but uh, it looks like it's a Nilfgaard card. I'm pretty sure. Um, I love the art. The art's fantastic. Um, let's jump to the next one. Next card, not really that great. It was revealed by Hansua24 on Twitter um, four strength four power hybrid whenever you consume one or more units boost self by one so the wording on this is a little bit off I don't know if this is like the old Vran where if you drop the Glusty it jump, jumps up 20 points you know or if it's just well you made it consume this time each action considers it one consume so you know say you eat something in haunt it goes up one, you spawn the other thing, it eats another one, it goes up two, 
and then you can use leader charges and it goes up to you know eight that's probably how it works for four provisions i would hope so if not for sure they're going to be pulling this with portal um and you're going to want to deal with it because you can, they're already telegraphing what they want to do um there's better cards i think i don't think you're going to monkey with this one uh next one was revealed by uh ghost aria it's a nilf card or this is a scoia'tael movement card um cat witcher menor deploy boost self by the number of other cards in this row so if you drop it on a five five cards it plays for six so it's a five for six adrenaline four so you play it with four cards in hand whenever a card appears on this row boost self by one so if in a long round you could play this you already played four cards it plays for five and then it compounds interest on the other four cards so it could play for a nine it's all right and then you can also too if stuff gets moved you can move your own stuff to this row and give it some boost um, you know it's uh i don't know about this one it 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 it, it, it just seems like it, in a really short round this is going to be a really really bad top deck you know but in the long round i mean I, I guess if you play this at five cards and you know you can get ahead on red coin it might be okay but five you know i don't know it's a tough spot in squid till i think we'll have to wait and see what the other movement cards are but um really neat card um will it see play i don't think so maybe it will i don't know um and then the last one here was revealed by trinet um, this card's a little bit bonkers, and I learned a little bit about it, too, um, from the uh, TLG Discord. I guess this is Black Rayla. Um, let me see if I can pull it up here real quick. She, uh, it says here, um, one of the Russian community members on the TOG. It says, Rayla was on a mission in Old Vizima. Yavin inflicts a mortal wound on her with a bow. Azar, taking his opportunity, takes Rayla's body to his refuge for experiments. Subsequently, Gerald meets the transformed Rayla. Now under the control of Azar, converges her into... converges her in battle and kills her again. It's the first game. Okay, so that's like huge spoilers. <laughs> but that game's super old. Um, this card, I got a, a couple things on it confirmed as well. Um, well, first, let's, it's Fallen, Rayla, Prophet 3, Tribute 3, Gain Veil. So as long as you have the three coins, well, she auto automatically gets it. So she plays for an 8 for an 11 with Veil. Adrenaline 3, so you're playing her at four cards in hand. Whenever you pay Tribute Ability, boost self by that Tribute cost. Okay, couple things with this card that have been confirmed. Um, she does not boost herself if you play Louisa. So if you think you're going to do the Wombo combo with uh, Savalo and Louisa, it doesn't work because you're not paying a tribute. The tribute is bypassed by Louisa's ability, so you gain nothing there. And then also, too, off the books, her tribute stuff is lowered so if something's tribute four and you play something and it's lowered you know because of off the book she only goes by the lowered cost so she's not really a cheat code for off the books if you were looking to go that route um i th i mean she only has to get two profits and being eight and veil is pretty nice um, she plays off the bat under Geralt range. Um, she does play in a rock slide range, but um, I think the card's going to be pretty good. Yeah, this I love the art. The art's incredible. And just continuing like the story through the Gwent cards is just, I love it. I, I get to live, live the Gwent lore through this beautiful art. So um, really, really cool card. I, I do th think this one will see play, though, because... Um, just playing for eight and being able to keep getting 
you know, tribute value and it's veiled, I think it's going to be a really, really good card. Uh, short video today, guys. Um, we'll try to get back at it uh, over the weekend. Um, thank you guys so much for everything. I'll see you next time. Also, too, if you stuck all the way through the video, uh, a little bird told me that uh, we'll have a reveal on Tuesday, too. So watch out for that.